بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, we have discussed previously the addition of vectors both graphically and analytically also we discussed the subtraction of uh, vectors and also multiplication of vectors with uh, scalars uh, what we'll be talking about today uh, is the multiplication of vectors how to multiply uh, vectors uh, now in vectors we have two different ways of uh, multiplication the first one is the scalar or sometimes we call it dot uh, product okay the other type of production or multiplication of vectors is the uh, vector and sometimes we call it cross uh, product uh, let me uh, explain what we mean by scalar product we call it a scalar because in this case, if you have a vector A and another vector uh, B, okay, and you uh, multiply them with this type of multiplication, it is called dot product because we use the symbol dot for this multiplication. So when you see this symbol, it means uh, the scalar product, and because it is like a dot, we call it dot uh, product. Uh, it is called a scalar product because you have a vector dot product with another vector you will end up with a scalar quantity okay so we call it a scalar because the result of multiplication will be a scalar quantity and we call it dot because the symbol of this multiplication is a dot uh, if we compare this to the vector or cross product you have vector a and another vector uh, B, uh, you want this type of multiplication, the symbol for it is a cross, and this is why we call it cross product, and this, is, this will give you a new, a new vector. Okay, uh, let me call it C for example. So this new vector uh, C is the result of multiplication of the cross product of A and B, and this is why we call it vector product. So it is vector product because you get a vector and it is cross product because we use the symbol uh, cross for this type of multiplication. Um, in, uh, in our course, Physics 101 and even in Physics 102, we will face these two types of multiplication. Sometimes you have a vector dot producted with another uh, vector and you end up with a scalar quantity. An example of this example here is example we can think of force vector uh, dot product with a displacement vector this will give us the work and the work is a scalar quantity um, an example for vector quantity example can be given also from this course we have r vector which is uh, the uh, arm of a certain force cross producted with a force this will give us a torque and the torque is a, a vector quantity so you have vector uh, multiplied with another vector you will get a new uh, vector now let us go in details of the uh, scalar uh, product or the dot product First of all, we might think of two approaches. You have vector A given as a magnitude and direction, and you have vector B with its magnitude and direction. So you have vector A. This is vector A, okay? And that is vector uh, B. Each one of them has a magnitude and a direction. The angle between them, let me call it phi. So this is the angle between vector A and vector, vector B. What does the scalar product of A and B mean? What does it mean? A dotted with B, this is equal to projection of B along A, vector B along 
A, or along the direction of A, uh, multiplied by, multiplied by uh, magnitude of A. Okay, so let me uh, draw it here. So this is vector B, the projection of B along A, so I draw from the head of B line perpendicular to the direction of A, and this will be the projection of A along uh, of B along A, this one. So this is the projection multiplied by the magnitude of of A. Okay. So this projection from trigonometry, this projection is nothing but B uh, cosine cosine phi. This is multiplied by uh, A. So we can write here that this is uh, B magnitude, A magnitude, multiplied by cosine, the angle between the two vectors A and B. We can think of it uh, the other way, which is the projection of A along the direction of, of B. Let me use another color to explain it. So this is B. Let me extend B. Okay. From the head of A, I can draw perpendicular to uh, B, and this is, this is what? This is the projection, what we have here, projection of vector A along uh, vector, the direction of vector B, okay? And this projection from trigonometry, this is nothing but A cosine the angle phi between the two the two vectors. Okay, so uh, this can be written as a cosine phi multiplied by magnitude of of b. And from here we can uh, get to the conclusion that a dot b is the same as b dot b dot a. Uh, so this means that the cro the dot product respects the uh, commu commutation rule. It, it respects the commutation rule. A dot B is the same as B uh, dot A. Another uh, uh, method of doing it, if you are given A as uh, a unit vector notation, and also B is given in unit vector uh, notation, the scalar product will be uh, as follows. If we say that A dot uh, B, here we have done it graphically, let us do it analytically. So A is AXI plus AYJ. Uh, we might have another AZK, but let us uh, restrict our discussion to just uh, two, uh, hmm? yes. Uh, to two components. Uh, so A has two components, A, X, I. This I is the unit vector in uh, the positive X direction. This hat, when you see the hat, this, this is an indication of the uh, unit vector. So it is a vector of unit one in the direction of the positive X, X axis. Uh, similarly, J hat, this is the notation for the unit vector along the positive uh, y axis dot uh, a uh, b x i plus b y b y j okay so if we multiply uh, these two you will end up with the following you have a x b uh, x multiplied by i dot i dot i plus a x b y then i have i dot uh, j plus uh, a y uh, b x and here i have j dot i i'll distribute the uh, addition on the multiplication uh, and finally i'll end up with a y b y j dot j dot j okay 
So i dot i, if you look here, i dot i, you will end up with what? You will end up with magnitude of i, which is uh, which is one multiplied by one cosine phi. The angle between i and i is zero, so cosine zero will be uh, one. So we will end up with i dot i equals one. But if you go to i dot j, the magnitude of i is 1, magnitude of j is also 1, but the angle between them is 90, so cosine 90 will give us 0. So you'll end up with this equal to 0. Uh, similarly here, this will be 0, and j dot j will be, uh, will be 1. So a dot b, you will end up with ax bx multiplied by 1. So this is magnitude, it is not a vector anymore, uh, plus ay by another uh, magnitude. So you start with a vector, uh, dot product with b vector, you'll end up with just a magnitude, which is a scalar, a scalar quantity. Let me summarize uh, i dot i equals j dot j equals k dot k. If you have uh, a vector in uh, in the space in three dimension, okay. All of these are equal to are equal to one. Also, we summarize what we have seen here that i dot j equals i dot k, the same as j dot k. All of this is equal to is equal to zero. So this is very important uh, rule to uh, uh, remember when you deal with uh, scalar or dot product. Uh, let us assume that you have two vectors, A and B. This is vector A, has a certain magnitude and in this direction. So this is vector A. And vector B is given certain magnitude and direction. As you can see, the angle between them is uh, phi, okay? We can think of uh, the projection of uh, B along the direction of vector A, and also we can think of the projection of vector A along the direction of vector, of vector B. Okay, to do this projection, uh, projection of B along A, so I draw a line from the head of B, perpendicular to A, so this is projection of B along, along A, okay? We can think of the projection of vector A along the direction of vector B, which is, I start from the head of A, okay, and draw line, which is perpendicular to uh, a and this is this is what this is projection of vector a along the direction of vector of vector b now let us define the uh, dot product a dot b so if we start a dot B, by definition, this is the projection of A. This is projection of A, vector A, along vector B, multiplied by the magnitude of vector, vector B. Okay, so here we have the projection of vector A multiplied by this quantity, which is the magnitude of, of vector B. Uh, and from trigonometry, this projection of A along vector uh, B is equal to the magnitude of A multiplied by cosine the angle between them Okay, so this is A multiplied by cosine the angle between them multiplied by 
the magnitude of vector of vector b. Okay, so this is it can be written as a b. So magnitude of a magnitude of b multiplied by cosine the angle between the two vectors. We can think uh, of it again that the dot product of A and B is the same as multiplying the projection of B along A multiplied by the magnitude of vector A. And from trigonometry, we can see that projection of B along A is B magnitude multiplied by cosine the angle between them. Okay? So this is the same as projection of B, vector B, along the direction of A multiplied by the magnitude of vector A. And this is, uh, this will be B magnitude cosine the angle between the two vectors multiplied by magnitude of A. Okay, and this is nothing but uh, B magnitude, A magnitude cosine the angle between them, and this is B dot, B dot A. Uh, so we come to the conclusion that A dot B is the same as B dot A. So it follows the, or the dot product of two vectors respects the commutation, commutation rule. A dot B is the same as B dot A.